We're talking about Demarcus Robinson, wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. Robbed at gunpoint over $100,000 worth of jewelry just after midnight on Friday and demanded he hand over his valuables, which included chains and a luxury watch, before the thieves fled. He's 29 years of age. He spent the first six, six years of his career with the Kansas City Chiefs, spent last season with the Baltimore Ravens, finished second on the team with 458 receiving yards. He's a 2016 first, fourth round pick out of Florida. He's in his first season with the Rams, but has appeared on just 17 offensive snaps in five games. So he's primarily a special teams player. It's dangerous out here, folks. First of all, <clears throat> Be careful of the jewelry you wear. Secondly, understand the times that we're living in. I get sick and tired of people not seeing what the hell is going on. See the forest from the trees. You see, you can't hear the report. You can't see the news and see violence. You can't sit up there and notice a recession. You can't look at a job market where there's labor participation. And supposedly the unemployment numbers are low. But the cost of living has been elevated. The salaries that you earn don't necessarily match it. You got people all over the street to L.A. homeless. We're advertising how lenient we've gotten on crime where people commit crimes. OK, and they out the same day without even paying bail for crying out loud. You can't do all of that. You can't have all of that going on and not relate it to an incident like this. Because all that means is that you're not paying attention. First of all, let me, are you ready for this? Let me applaud the robbers. Yeah, I said it. Thank you for not killing him. Thank you. We got enough killings in this world got enough thank you for sparing his life because you see Sean Taylor couldn't say the same in 2007 the former Washington when they were called the Redskins the former Washington Redskins who was murdered he can't say that former light middleweight champion of the world Vernon Forrest who beat Sugar Shane Mosley. He can't say that. He was murdered in 2009, two years after Sean Taylor was murdered at a gas station. Former New York Knicks and Chicago Bull, Eddie Curry, robbers entered his family home, tied up him and his family, Made off with various items of jewelry and cash, but they didn't kill him. Thank God. To the thieves and the robbers and people like that out there, you don't have to kill me. Nine times out of ten, people will give up this stuff. It ain't worth it. It's just things. It's a damn shame. But that's the world we're living in. If you're an athlete, be careful about the kind of jewelry you're wearing around your sleeve. And by the way, try not to be alone. Try not to be alone. I used to wear jewelry all the time. I never, I was never Mr. T. I pity the fool. I was never that dude. I ain't have a bunch of chains around my neck or anything like that. But I'd rock some jewelry, some ice every now and then. I'm very selective at when, to, when I wear stuff now. 90% of the time, I don't even have anything on me. Don't invite trouble if you don't have to. Unfortunately, it's the world we're living in. You see, it's a message here. Our society is only as strong as its weakest link. If there's a desolate and disenfranchised community out there starving to make ends meet, starving to eat, stuff like this is going to happen. Chances are 99% of the time, the people that's doing this ain't doing this for fun. They're doing it for survival. And I'm not absolving them by any stretch of the imagination. You committing crimes, you get caught, should do the time. 
It don't make me proud or happy to say that there needs to be enough jail cells. It don't make me proud to say that our society don't need to be lenient on crime. We got some civilized, law-abiding American citizens all over the place that are being victimized by people in this country. And then depending on what city you live in, you got folks walking around always talking about let's get guns off the street, but they never get it from the bad guys. Never. Now I believe in the right to bear arms. I believe in my Second Amendment rights, but I don't believe in walking around with AK-47s and Uzis and all of this nonsense. And I don't believe people should have a license to carry walk in the streets of America. This ain't the wild, wild west. But should you be allowed to have a weapon in your home? Yes. Should you be allowed to defend yourself? Yes. Because the police can't be everywhere. How do we know that? Because we see so many of them retiring. Because they believe that the laws have gotten so soft. They're like the hell with this. And if we do anything, we might get sued. So law enforcement has been compromised to some degree. I don't have all the numbers in front of me. I'm not trying to get political here. I'm simply pointing out the obvious. It's stressful out here. It's hard. I'm looking at my producers, Michael and Tom. and Let me tell y'all something right now. Barely two with his about to get married self. Let me tell you something. Did y'all know that the rate of inflation doubles the rate of your income? The pace, the economic recession. I mean, did you get that? The money that you receive is outpaced by education. The price is actually double. For those of you out there who want kids, I know I got two of them. I can't tell you the money I pay for my daughters to be in school. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. But we all make sacrifices. And damn it, I tell them all the time, oh, y'all going to pay up. Eventually, you're going to pay up. You're going to take care of daddy. Somehow, somewhere, you're going to take care of daddy. Trust you me. I'm going to get it back. But damn it, it's expensive. Food's expensive. Do you know the other day, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm embarrassed to admit it. But damn it, I'm not. Because as y'all know, you know, I've gotten myself in some shape. I've lost about 33 pounds. Cholesterol level dropped. Sugar levels have been managed. Insulin levels have dropped dramatically. All my numbers are great. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have a pot belly no more. None of that. So I decided I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to go out and get me some, some crunch berries. I ain't eat no crunch berries in, in months. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me some crunch berries. Man, I went to one store, man. They trying to charge over $5 for a box of cereal. For a box of cereal. Y'all, I remember when it was one. They got me sounding like I'm 80 years old. I mean, damn. Don't go. You, you want to avoid depression? Don't go and pump gas. Oh, I don't even want you to see the price of gas. Don't even want you to see the price of gallon of gas. You know, the numbers just keep going and going and going. And then you look at the gallon, you ain't even reach one yet. Not one. Five dollars in, six dollars in. Ain't even a gallon of gas in your car. I mean, excuse my language, shit's crazy. It really is. And I'm getting paid. Imagine how it is for people who are not. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's why in the richest country in the world, in a capitalistic society, although there will always be haves and have nots in comparison to one another, the richest country in the world shouldn't have some of the poorest people in the world. I am not a Republican. Though some of you may think that. You know why you think that? 
because I am conservative fiscally. I believe in free market capitalism. I believe in less government intervention when it comes to economic issues. I can't stand high taxes. I firmly believe that every American citizen who pays their taxes should walk home with a minimum of 50% of their money after everything is taken out. I don't want to hear federal, but state varies and New York is 11 and California is 13%, but there's no state income taxes. By the way, those no state income tax places, just so you know, it's Delaware, it's Washington, state of Washington, it's Nevada, it's Tennessee, it's Texas, it's Florida. And if I'm missing one, don't you worry, I'll find out within the hour. It matters. It matters. Do you know that living in New York or California? If I simply got up and moved to Tennessee. Or Florida. Or Texas or Nevada. Do you know I would automatically have received a 10 to 12 percent raise? Because there's no state income tax. All I'm trying to say to you is that money matters. The economy matters. Jobs matter. Employment matters. Because when it doesn't happen, you get stories, stories like Demarcus Robinson getting robbed in L.A. By a hotel. It ain't safe out in these streets. Because desperate times exist. For an awful lot of people, no matter what the hell our government wants to tell you. Remember that. Keep your head on a swivel. And thank the good Lord that those thieves, those robbers. Weren't murderers. I'm so happy that Demarcus Robinson is still alive. He can replace those jury, that jury he may not even want to. And if he didn't want to, I wouldn't blame him. There's one thing to be alive. It's another thing to live and to be living. And there's a whole bunch of people out in the world today that are alive, but they ain't living. And you remember that scene from Batman that I told you about where the butler, Albert, is telling Christian Bale, Batman, some people can't be bought. Some people just want to see the world burn. Thank God that Demarcus Robinson didn't run in to somebody like that. Otherwise, today on a football Sunday or, or, you know, yesterday on a football Sunday, we would have been lamenting the passing of a professional athlete. Minding his business and just wearing jewelry. Keep your head on a swivel, y'all. Keep your head on a swivel. Those are the times we're living in. Recognize it. 